I felt uh, you know really positive about the whole experience. My my goal for a long time was to be on uh, on the ice at GM Place during a regular season game for the Canucks. So I guess we can we can count this. <laughs> Anthems are actually more nerve-wracking for me than going up on stage and, and playing a gig, So, uh, but I had a lot of fun tonight. Chad Brownlee has never been one to give up on a dream, no matter how he accomplishes it. The 03 Canuck draft pick may never have made it to the ice on skates, but his new career as a country music singer still got him there. And surprisingly, his hockey background admirably prepared him for life on the stage. There's tons of parallels as far as just mentally preparing yourself and you know you have a, a role to play in hockey and when the coach calls upon you you got to do it. It's the same thing in music. You know when, the, when that spotlight's on you have to be ready to, pre to perform. If I was a superhero, baby, I'd save you from the world outside, the world outside your I love music ever since I was a little kid. I took piano lessons and uh, played tenor sax and picked up the guitar at 17. So it was always there uh, in parallel with hockey. It wasn't until, you know, about a year and a half ago that it kind of leapfrogged over top of it. Brownlee played four years at Minnesota State before attending his first Canuck training camp in 2007. He didn't make the cut and spent that season playing in the ECHL, where a reoccurring shoulder injury eventually forced him to hang up his skates. Prior to a year and a half ago, it was that whole season. Um, I got injured halfway through, and it just kind of took the wind out of my sails. And I kind of had it in the back of my mind, but it wasn't until the very end of the season where I, I made the decision. How hard? It was hard, definitely. I mean, something that I've been doing since I was five years old, and you just stop playing. It's it's your identity, and then you just decide to do something else, and something else is now your your identity. It's a definite change and a breaking period for sure. When he hung up the skates, he strapped on the guitar without looking back. But he will carry with him memories of being a Canuck. That was a pretty special time. Um, I mean, ever since I was young, I was a Canuck fan. So when I got drafted uh, in 2003, it was a feather in the cap, you know, to, uh, to see that Canuck jersey with my name on the back. So, um, and just to be at camp uh, was an honor. I mean, I just learned so much in, in that week, week and a half that I was there. And, uh, and I'll never forget it. Well, I'm just a man, I'm just a man for you. I'm just a man.